All right, so my dad uses DaVinci, and then he was asking me how does people like speed ramp and like do a really easy method to speed ramp. He wanted to know how to do that. So here I am making another tutorial for my parents. And here we go. So what we're going to do, so we have a clip like this. Let's play it out. You can see the speed, you know, pretty consistent. And it goes like that. But what you want to do is you want to have it normal, you want it to speed up, and then you want it to be normal again. And so this is what we're going to do. So we're going to cut out the place that we want it to be. So we like we have this normal, and then say we want to speed it up like right here. Let's like put a marker down, hit M on the keyboard to put a marker down. And then you want it to like stop being fast like right here. So put another marker and then just like that, and this is going to be normal. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to click this video right here, right? It's just, just, just the clip that we want to speed up. We're going to hit Control R, and that's going to bring up your read time controls, and that's why you see like the speed thing right here. What we're do so we're gonna have the endpoint of where we want it to start speeding up so it's gonna be right here and then we're gonna click this arrow and then we're gonna hit add speed point and that's gonna add this little marker that's right there you can see it's the white that's gonna be the first part where it determines how fast we want it to go and then we want another speed point here which is gonna be the end of how fast we want it to go so we're gonna hit the arrow again right it's right here and then we're gonna hit hit add speed point and there we go and then what we can do really easily is just drag the top of this white handle and that'll make it so it, you can adjust how fast you want it to be automatically so if you want it to be that fast that time and then it goes like that and then if you hit the arrow actually you can actually change it to a set speed and so go down to hit the arrow go down to change speed and then change it to whatever you want and we can see like 200 so it's going to be an even 200 speed like that and then it goes like that and if you want you could adjust the smoothness of how fast it goes in and then how fast it goes out if you don't know what i mean it's basically changing a little graph so we're going to right click this here we're going to go up to retime curve and then we could drag this little part down so we can actually see the graph and you can see that's how fast it's going it's going to go it's normal speed then this is how it increases and then it goes back to normal and so if we actually click this arrow and we hit retime speed instead of retime frame I click that retime frame off then we have this right here and so we could just click on the line over here and you have it you can see how fast it's going so this is normal and this is at the 200 percent speed and then this is normal again so if we just click this little dot where the keyframe is and we hit the, the curve right here it'll make a little curve so it smoothly goes into 200 percent and then we click this one and do that again it smoothly goes out and then you can adjust how smooth that you want it to be so we can go like that where it makes it smooth like this and then do that as well and so it'll smoothly ramp in and then smoothly ramp out so that's a little bit more controls if you want to do that otherwise i would just stick to just doing the marker and then you don't have to adjust the graph usually it's fine but yeah there you go something that you should keep in mind is that when you make the clip faster this whole clip is going to get shorter and so if you have space that's here so you have like another clip that you want to drag closer you, you can just click this and then hit the delete key and then that'll ripple it and that's how it'll line up in the end like that but yeah that's that's it really